adventure today. Right, Yumi? Ah! Uh huh. I'm gonna leave these guys here. We got our hiking shoes in the car. <laughs> Did you bring your hiking shoes? Oh. I'll meet you guys at Fairly Bakehouse in Fairly. I'm excited for that. I've been waiting over two years to go to here. Oh no, the thumbs up. Right? <laughs> so I'll see you guys at uh, at the bakehouse around like 12 o'clock. Or maybe in the, the playground first. In Amaru? No, no, in Fairly. Fairly. Playground's here. Alright. See, see you there. Let's go. Wow. Road trip. Let's go, road trip! 8 a.m. We are finally going on a road trip. We've been staying with my cousin Yan and her family for about two months now here in beautiful Dunedin. It's been a while since we've gone on a road trip, so uh, we are gonna be taking a little trip uh, with Yan and her family to uh, Lake Tekapo. Lake Tekapo is a Tereo Maori word, teka or taka meaning sleeping mat and po meaning night. So Lake Tekapo is known for uh, uh, what? Lupins? Yep, and the view. And the Dark Sky Reserve. I'm the, so excited. And uh, it's one of the few Dark Sky Reserves in the entire world. The Dark Sky Reserve means that they've, uh, it's a specific area that restricts any artificial light, giving you maximum uh, viewing of stars and constellations and meteor showers. And they have this massive telescope called the Brashear Telescope, which is huge. Uh, they run tours, so we might get involved with that and and do a tour of the uh, of the dark sky reserve. It's pretty awesome. You got everything. I have my underwear and my toothbrush. Those are the only two essentials you need: my underwear wallet, and toothbrush. So, you know, I got my phone. Yeah, you phone apparently charger. also don't need underwear. One underwear is good no. for four days. One underwear is apparently. good for four days. If you don't know the trick, if you're a guy, so you wear them once, you reverse them, you flip them inside out. That's a third time and then you reverse it again. So that's four uses from one pair of underwear. And then make your wife <laughs> clean them. Clean them with you and your shitty ass. It only works for guys. I don't, I haven't tested it on women's thongs. So um, yeah, leave what? a comment below. Hopefully you haven't tested it. <laughs> that's why you need it. <laughs> reason only. Fairly Bakehouse. My cousin Yan told me about this place back when we first went to Dededen in like January 2019. She said this is the bakehouse that has a pie. It's a pork pie with pork crackling or chicharron to my Filipino viewers on top. Looks delicious, sounds delicious. Probably one of the best pies in New Zealand. So we're gonna try this crackling chicharron pork pie. That's a sure sign that they make I got a pebble in my foot. Okay, so Yan and the family are still on their way down here, so we're just gonna walk around fairly. They messaged us saying, we passed Glenavy, well, we need to stop for a bladder break. Well, apparently more than a bladder break. Poo emoji, poo emoji, poo emoji. Um, so we're just gonna kill time and wait for them to get here. So does that mean then that three of them had to poop? Yeah, Cyril, Yumi, and Annika had to poop. Or maybe Yan, but she didn't want to admit it. One thing that I found very surprising and unusual, I guess, is cybersecurity in New Zealand. Not once have I ever seen a, either a terminal in a store where you would pay by your debit card or even a bank machine telling you to cover your PIN number. Though recently, it seems that Westpac has changed that, right? Yeah, it actually tells you. Is it okay if I show the viewers how much you have in your account? Or what your PIN number is? No. Growing up in Montreal, and it's sort of in your head, just a North American thing to always cover your PIN number. Every time you put it in, you cover it with that. And then going into stores, when I would do that, people behind me would look at me strange, like, why is he covering, what do you think I am, a criminal? Here, here, here. See, this is the first time. We've been in New Zealand for almost two years. Oh, hang on, this look. is the first. And you'll only see it for the next For two Fraud days. Awareness <laughs> Week. It's the first time I've ever seen only see it uh, for a week. That, that advisory to cover your pin. 
here. Canadian mum. Oh wait, no, it's New Zealand. One pork belly with applesauce. Okay, all right, so yeah, two times. Yeah. Thank you. Here we go. Here's your pork pie. Try it before you buy it. Mmm. Nothing like the sweet, salty smell of fried pork skin. Look at this. Cyril confirmed that his Kiwi colleagues say that Fairly is the best pie in New Zealand. Best pie. Best pie right here. First time, that was the most number of employees working in a bake shop I've ever seen. <laughs> and also the most number of people eating at the bake shop. Yeah. They were packed, busy. So how's this crackler? So what is it, is pork belly and apple? I don't know, it's stuck between my teeth now. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste good between your teeth? Mm. Yeah. I wasn't sure what it was called. I was just like, give me the one with the pork crackling on top. But it turns out there's pork belly and apple inside. Mm -hmm. That is an insane combination. There it is, the pork crackling, pork crackling, pork belly, and apple uh, pie from Fairly. Oh, you can even open it to get a little preview here. There you go, open the lid. There's the pork belly with the apple. If you're a lover of pigs, this is the way to go. Oh my goodness. So how was it? Mm. Nice. So good. So good. Yeah. That my friends, is a winning combination. And why they had eight people working. The sort of a line, huge line of people in a big house that was packed with people. Do I look K-drama? Look, I have sauce on my face. Uh, and then in the K-dramas, the guy, the love interest, would, would like wipe the smudge like this. It was Yan's recommendation and it was worth the hype. It, it lived up to the hype. That's the magic right here. Pig's good. Just be so crunchy. All right, Yumi, I'm gonna go back to the car. I'll see you. Uh, see you when I see you. <laughs> All right. I don't know about you, Ling, but my belly is full of pork belly. I am a pork belly. Getting back in the car, and we're gonna continue onwards to Tekapo. It's about 30 minutes from Fairly, so we're not too far off. And Lynn caught a shiny magmar. Good for her. Good on you, mate. Okay, let's keep going. 30 minutes to Tekapo. Almost there. Ba, 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 ba.